guys, I was wandering through Home Depot today during my favorite aisle and I noticed that Master Lock has a brand new product, uh, at least to me, this is the first time I've ever seen it in Home Depot. They call this the Python. Here is the logo for it, Master Lock Python. There's the model number, Tough Under Fire, yeah. I've been playing with this. It looks like uh, it's used to secure like equipment to your truck or even bicycles. Um, it comes with an eight foot, it feels like a carbon fiber type cable, so it kind of would be difficult to cut that. It would crush it before it would cut it. Um, it is a five pin, I've been playing with it this afternoon. It is a five pin lock at a appears or at least it feels to be a wafer lock and this is how it works of course uh, you, ha you have it locked and then there's one where you cinch the cable down to the tightness that you want and then you unlock it so I'm going to turn it to cinch so we would cinch it down on our bicycle or whatever once we got it where we want it then you tie it to lock uh, when you unlock it of course the cable just comes if I get this to get the right angle here I've got that velcro on there slides right out. We're going to slide that dude back and I'm going to go ahead and, and lock it. As I said, it's a little bit difficult to pick. I try, I did manage to rake it and pick it, but it's not that easy because of the wafers and because it has a spring-loaded door. Uh, I don't know if you can make that out, but it's to protect it from the weather, from the elements. But we don't need this stinking key because in, in playing with it this afternoon I found a much easier way to get into this lock. So here's how you do it guys. Don't bother trying to figure out that wafer lock. It felt like there were even false gates on it. Just get yourself a, a standard tension wrench. Just slide it anywhere. It doesn't matter uh, exactly where your placement is. I'm going to jam mine right in the middle there because we're actually not going to pick it. What I'm going to do, we know that those wafers are held in place by springs. If we can put tension on this, and we can overcome the tension in those springs, uh, then I think we can make it work for us. We can we can pick it uh, by using the momentum of those wafers going against those uh, springs. What we're going to do, we're going to apply light tension on it, and don't let off on the tension. Keep constant tension on it while you take your hammer. Yeah, you knew there was some violence going to be involved here, right? Anyway, maintain tension, and I found that when you tap on it right about here, it's in line with those wafers, and this way I don't hit my fingers. So I'm going to apply a little tension, I'm just going to give it a couple of wraps here. And we overcome those the spring on those wafers, we managed to turn this to unlock, and we're in. So if you're looking for a self-unlocking bicycle lock, or a self-unlocking equipment lock to not secure stuff to your truck, this might be the perfect choice. Get yourself a Master Lock Python. And just so you can get your order right, there is the model number. Anyway, tough under fire, but maybe not so tough under a small brass tap hammer. Thanks for your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. <laughs>